What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today and today we're gonna finish up Assassin's Creed Origins at 4k. Got ourselves all set up here. Got a little board and if anybody's wondering what that's sitting on is like an old desk's little slide out keyboards, you know, back when keyboards used to slide out from desks. I don't even know if they do that anymore. Probably not because it was terrible. But anyway, why don't we go hop in and check out some settings. Okay, starting off our 4K test here. Let's just look at our display screen one time like we usually do if there is a, a separate display screen. Everything is either off, if it should be, maxed out field of view, no limits and no HDR. So let's go and move over to the settings. All right, let's look at the very low settings. Okay. Now we can go and do a quick benchmark. Benchmark for very low is all done at 4K here now. So we're just gonna look over these guys. And as you can see, performance success is very high. There's our frame score. We averaged 88. And now, we can go move into the game. All right, starting off on our on very low here. And at 4K, it looks really, 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 really bad because now you can really see all the finite details that are not there. But still, we do all the settings on all the other resolutions. Ooh, wow, that was a big start there. Uh, so why wouldn't we do it on 4K too, right? Damn big ass ass obelisk right there. Got a little bit of some weird flickering going on with some of the textures back there too, but that does not happen on anything but very low. And I personally don't think too many people are going to want to play this game at 4K, at, at very low anyway. But for the people that do, now they get to see how it runs. Got some horses. Oh the fuck, they're beating up that dude. Let's go help him. Hell yeah. That would be quick work of them. Wish it would go that easy every time, damn. Anyway though, now we can go and move on. Alright guys, starting off very low here on 4K. We killed some random peeps. We're getting in the 80s to 90s, but this is very low, which I would never want to play personally on uh, 4K. Uh, at least in my opinion, Assassin's Creed games are more about being good looking, you know? But still, I'm sure there are some people that care more about FPS, so here you go. If you want to play at 4K and get insanely good FPS at the same time on this laptop, very low is probably going to be your best friend. Or turning on some kind of dynamic uh, resolution scaling or something. Hey, we can assist some more rebels. Oh wait, you're a good guy? Okay, we won't kill you then. Damn straight chariot. Out of my way, everyone. I have a chariot. All right, though, why don't we go ahead and move on to low? So now we're gonna do low. 
So we'll just look at all the low settings. And then do a quick low benchmark. And then a little low gameplay. All right, now for that benchmark. Now the benchmark for low is finished. Let's look over our graphs like we usually do. Well, I guess I should say usually do in this particular game. It's not like every game has these. This is pretty well done though. Kind of wish they kept this exact same setup for every single one. Very high performance. There's our frame score. We averaged 87 this time. There's those guys. So now let's go back and see how it does in the game. Here we go with some low gameplay now. Wah, apparently. Bunch of goats. Come on. Ah! Huh. What is going on over here? <clears throat> I guess we can go assist those guys. Oh, now they're like running away. Out of my way, I'm trying to help these other dudes. Shit, they killed them. Piece of shit. All right, now let's go over here and see what these guys are doing. They seem to be like overpowering them. There's only one guy left. Haha. <laughs> now there's none. Oh, no. One more down here. Oh, there he is. Bastard, he's on a horse. Oh, never mind. They got him. All right, now I take horse. And now we move on. All right, guys, now we got ourselves some low gameplay. And I'm not gonna lie, he looks absolutely hilarious riding this horse. There we go. That was pretty weird. He was like wigging out a little there, I don't know what. Yeah, take that. Wow, that actually didn't kill him. Wow. Man, this guy don't fuck around. He almost got me. Although it's because I'm not dodging or blocking. Still remembering how or learning how to do shit out with keyboard and mouse in this game. I've played all the Assassin's Creed game with a controller. Alright, well at least now I got all my freaking life bag. Anyway though, it's time for us to move on to the next graphic setting anyway. Okay, now it's time for medium. So, a quick look at the settings we will have. Alright. Now it's time to get into that benchmark. We're all here we go. Media benchmark's all finished, and here's how it did. 
go through these three things really fast. All right, and as you can see, we got very high performance. There's our frame score. We averaged 71 FPS there. All right, there's our system info, and now let's get into the game. Well, here we go. Medium gameplay now. Definitely looks a lot better. Obviously, it could look even better, but this is only medium. But after seeing very low and low, this is like epic quality in comparison. <laughs> I think high is going to be probably the way to go with ultra wide because we're already sometimes getting kind of in the 60s already. See, we're already 60, 69. I think any higher than that, and it might. Oh, I just kind of could have killed that guy. Well. I almost got ran over by a chariot. There we go. Now he's all toast. And I got to loot him. So, now, why don't we go and move along? Well, all right. Now for some medium. Huh? Well, all right, so let's just run around. We've killed all the people I feel like killing. Because every time I go into these other encampments, since I'm not that great with keyboard and mouse for this game, I keep getting my ass kicked. And I don't want to desync every freaking five seconds, so. So far, so good on the FPS, though. We're staying above 60. I think I saw it drop down to 65 while we were in some flowers and shit, and we're right in the middle of the city. So this is kind of like a worst-case scenario. Oh, 68, 69 right there. Yeah, every time I go in there, I keep getting my ass kicked, so I'm not going in there this time. I saw 66 that time. Anyway, why don't we go ahead and move on to the next graphics setting. So now it's time to do high. So as usual, let's just scroll through all these settings so everybody can see what all the high settings are. And there we go, we reached the bottom. So it's time for that benchmark. Okay. Hi, benchmark's finished, so let's just look at our little graph here. We can see it dropped under 60 a little bit right there, a couple times, not by much. Probably wouldn't notice it without a frame rate counter, but we're still getting very high performance, so that's good. So this is probably where I would stop. Very high performance, average of 62. So we're right at the edge right there. You got these two guys right here and our system info. So now let's go see how it does in the actual game, shall we? Well, here we go with some high gameplay now. And we're already right off the bat starting under 60 FPS, but the game still looks pretty smooth now that it's done pre-caching all of its shit. Hmm. Hey, I share it again. Let's get this guy. I want his chariot. 
And I protected my allies. Man, I was hoping I could get that guy. Whoa, that was close. <clears throat> oh, well, let's run back up here. And now, why don't we go ahead and move on? So now we're on high. We are dropping under 60, a teensy tiny bit here and there, but nothing too crazy. Hey, you. None of that now. All right, we protected our allies well. Aw, oh, shit, chariot again. Fuck yeah, chariot! All right, chariot off roading. <laughs> I must be careful now. Rides chariot into the freaking middle of the base. All right, though. Why don't we go ahead and move on? Time to move on to very high, which is probably gonna be a little too much for this laptop, at least to hit 60 a majority of the time. But it still might be smooth and playable, we'll see. Once we get into the actual game, but first we gotta look through our settings and do our benchmark before we can do all of that. But we have just reached the bottom of this, so it is time for that benchmark. Okay, the test's all done. So let's look over our graph here. As you can tell, we've gone way under 60 a lot of the time. And our performance and stuff and score has suffered as well. But it doesn't look stuttery. It looks pretty consistent, honestly. And it says it's stable. So we're getting between 30 and 60. We didn't get below 30, so that's good. Here's our frame score. We average just under 60 at 55. Here's our other two averages. And then there's our system info. And now let's go see how it does in the game. Here we are in very high gameplay now. All the way in the 40s to start with. But besides that one little stutter there from it like pre-caching shit, it seems like the frame times are pretty smooth. I guess let's go maybe find some action or something just to make sure it stays that way. But I have some pretty high hopes. Hey, there we go. We can go help him out. That'll be a good test. Yeah! Perfect! Not great FPS, but frame times are at least are just super smooth. Oh, I'm out of ammo, but I think he burnt to death, so... I guess that works out in the end, doesn't it? Alright, though. It looks like it's time for us to go and move on now. Now we're on very high. I 
I'm out of ammo, so I can't help them with the people in the chariots. I'd have to get really lucky and have them drive right past me, and then I could hit them a little bit with my sword. But unfortunately, that is not happening. But as you can plainly see, we are not getting 60 anymore, but at least we're getting smooth frame times, which if the Steam Deck has taught me anything, even if it doesn't get the most highest FPS all the time in all games, it at least can do decent graphic settings at stable frame times at around 30 to 40 FPS on almost any game. Elden Ring is one of the few games where it's like it struggles to get 30. But I finally figured out some decent settings for it, so I pretty much just sit at 30 the whole time with the frame times pretty much as stable as this is being right now, which makes it feel smoother than it does on my PCs. I wonder what they did to make it so smooth, and I hope they can fix it on PC soon. I had some people wanting me to redo it on this laptop, but I wanted to wait until it like did way better, otherwise it's like more of the same. That and I wanted to get better at the game too. I'm getting a little better, I'm targeting things now, rolling at the right time, knowing that I can't go from a roll to instantly blocking or dodging again within like one millisecond like you can like in a game like this. So definitely learning, but I'm still pretty bad at it. I die every once in a while. I'm just going to assassinate you for fun. Anyway, so now we're just going to keep walking down the street. Man, look at all those birds. Shit. Anyway, why don't we go ahead and move on? Now, the last setting, ultra high. I'm actually kind of surprised texture detail doesn't have an ultra high setting, or at least a very high setting, you know? But that's what they chose to do, that's what they chose to do. Who am I to complain? At least I have the option to change these things, right? So now, let's go do a benchmark. Benchmark for ultra high is all done, and it didn't do as bad as I thought. It barely changed, honestly. I think we went down to 52 from 55, so... That's yeah, barely noticeable. Well, as long as it's not going to be studier, but it actually looks even smoother in the frame times here, so... It's uh, stable again. Here's our frame score. As I said before, we averaged 52. Here's our other two averages for the other two graphs. And of course, our system info. And now let's go see how it does in the actual ultra high gameplay. All right, here we go. Ultra high gameplay now. And we usually have some crazy stutters in the very beginning upon loading. Well, they're not really crazy, but you can just see on the frame time graph at the beginning, there's always a couple of little tiny stutters, but it's looking like, no, it's lower for FPS, but the frame times are at least good. I think what I can't stand is when it's like under 60 FPS with horrible, like juddery frame times. That's when it's like completely unplayable. Don't get me wrong. I would still prefer if this was always 60 all the time, but... Sometimes it just can't handle that, just like the Steam Deck. Steam Deck just can't do 60 FPS in every game. It's just not going to happen. Especially AAA games. Hey, there went a kitty. Well, I guess this is Egypt, and they did worship cats in a way, so not surprising that there's lots of cats, right? I almost parkoured into the fire. That would not have wounded well for me. As we've already learned previously, this guy's not fireproof. They look like they were about ready to fight. Anyway, let's move on. Well, now we got ourselves some ultra high gameplay. Oh, what did I hit? Bad. I tried to hit ALT, and that is why I like playing this game with the controller, and if I ever do any more of these with the keyboard, I'm going to remember to turn my damn Windows key off. This laptop does have the ability to shut that off, much like a custom keyboard would, so that's good. So sorry about the random jostle there. 
going out of the game like that, but we're just going to let this guy out. Now I'm just going to run away. Ah, nope. Bye. You're getting owned. I completely made a fool of that guy. I released his prisoner and was like, peace the fuck out. Anyway, I think that's more than good enough. So, well, it may not get 60. It's still very smooth and very playable. So... Why don't we go ahead and wrap this video on up? Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for Assassin's Creed Origin. And it was very playable on everything. It dropped below 60 once we got to very high and ultra high at 4K, but it was still very smooth frame times. I'd had, if I'd turn the frame rate counter off, I could have fun with that and never care, you know? Team Dex taught me to turn the frame rate counter off and just enjoy the smooth gameplay. As long as the game's not dropping down to 20, I made the mistake of trying to run Elden Ring everything on high because it kind of just gave it to me like that. So I was like, oh, okay, well, if those are what it says it can do, it can do it. And no, it can't. It dropped down like 22, 24 FPS constantly. So, no. So, had to sit there and fiddle with shit, but that's why I like PCs. Fiddle with shit. Got a pretty much solid 30 and very happy with the performance. Anyway, though. This isn't a Steam Deck freaking video. So anyway, we're all done with the laptop video and it's time for me to move on to the next game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next one, peace out guys.